Mr. President, I'd like to speak for 10 minutes as in morning business. Thank you, Mr. President. In January, this body took up a significant step towards reforming the way we spend American taxpayer dollars. While debating the ethics reform bill, senators voted 98 to nothing in favor of my amendment requiring transparency for 100 percent of member requested earmarks. This was an early sign that Congress was going to change the way we do business here in Washington. But since then, I'm afraid my optimism has been tempered by a hefty dose of political reality. The ethics bill containing this new Senate rule has been stalled and its future enactment is anything but certain. In the meantime, the Senate has continued business as usual as earmarking continues unfettered from transparency rules. The appropriators are soliciting earmarks. The Werder Bill is full of undisclosed earmarks and none of the committees are complying with the anti-corruption transparency requirements. Upon notice that I was going to offer this bill again on the floor, the Democrat leadership of the Appropriations Committee just issued a press release saying that they were going to comply with these rules. And that's really good news. So if the appropriators want to comply, there's no reason at all that we shouldn't enact this rule as a Senate rule. Yesterday's roll call reported that the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee is advancing two pieces of legislation packed with billions of dollars worth of earmarks. But the committee is not asking senators to certify that they have no financial interest in the projects, at least for now. In other words, the Senate is continuing to conduct its business in the old way, which was rejected by the American voters. We cannot continue to wait. The Senate rules must be changed now if we're going to implement what the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, the distinguished chairman, called an accountable, above-board, transparent process for funding decisions and put an end to the abuses that have harmed the credibility of Congress. I agree 100 percent, Mr. President. My proposal, S. Resolution 123, creates a new Senate rule that requires public disclosure of the earmarks contained in bills passed by committee. This disclosure includes the name of the member requesting the earmark, the name and address of the intended recipient of the earmark, the purpose of the earmark, and a certification that the requesting member and his or her spouse have no financial interest in the requested earmark. These are simple transparency ideas that the American people need. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the following senators be added as co-sponsors to S. Resolution 123, and that is Senator Ensign, Senator McCain, Senator Enzi, Senator Martinez, and Senator McCaskill. Is there objection? The chair here, no objection. It is so ordered. Thank you, Mr. President. This resolution will immediately require all members who request earmarks to certify in writing that they have no financial interest in the requested earmark. Following the imprisonment of Congressman Duke Cunningham for selling earmarks for bribes, uh, this Americans need to know that their elected officials are not using public office for private gain. Uh, this is simple information that every senator should be willing to provide, and I believe most are. But it's beginning to look like the new majority is not really interested in shining light on the earmarking process. Before we left the Easter recess, I asked unanimous consent for the Senate to adopt the Senate Resolution 123 so that we could enact this important rule immediately. The majority objected and said that this proposal needed to go through the appropriate process. Mr. President, that's a sad excuse. This rule has already gone through the normal process. It was offered as an amendment on the floor. It was modified by the leadership of the Democrat Party, and it passed 98 to nothing. This is a Senate rule, and the only thing left for us to do is actually enact it. Let me just read a few quotes from uh, the Democrat Center uh, de leadership when we worked out the language on this bill before. And this includes a lot of Democrat 
language. Majority Leader Harry Reid said, in effect, we have combined the best ideas from both sides of the aisle, Democrat and Republican, to establish the strongest possible disclosure rules in this regard. Majority Whip Dick Durbin said, I am pleased with this bipartisan solution. I believe it reflects the intent of all on both sides of the aisle to make sure there is more disclosure. We have full agreement. The language has been vetted. The bill that I offer today as a Senate rule is exactly the language that we passed 98 to nothing. Mr. President, the Majority Leader offered up his own excuse when he said his office was not notified in advance. In order to make sure that that excuse is not used again, I sent a letter last week to the Democrat and Republican leaders notifying, notifying them of my intent to seek unanimous consent today to enact the Senate earmark disclosure rule. Again, the one we've already passed, 98 to nothing. But I understand the other side has come up with a third excuse. This time, they're going to say that enacting earmark disclosure requirements will dilute the lobbying and ethics reform bill's effect. This is probably the weakest of all of their excuses. How does enacting an ethics reform provision dilute its effect? The only thing diluting ethics reform is our unwillingness to abide by this new rule. And this excuse rings hollow because the majority did not bother to include this rule in their original bill. And when we brought it to the floor, they tried to kill it. Now I've tried to work in a bipartisan manner on this. I have been patient, but it's been over 80 days. The earmark process is continuing as usual, and all the American people are getting is excuses. It's time to enact this rule. Mr. President, I ask unanimous consent that the Rules Committee be discharged from further consideration. The Senate now proceed to Senate Resolution 123, further that the resolution be agreed to and the motion to reconsider be laid upon the table.